everybody and welcome to the Inger Micro Business Transformation Center. My name is Matthew White and today we're going to be talking about the WebEx Desk Hub. The WebEx Desk Hub, if you haven't already heard about it, is a device that sits on your desk and all your devices kind of plug into it, hence the word hub. <laughs> you kind of have a connection for your monitor on there, you have a connection for your headphones, you have a connection for your computer, and then you also even have a little spot to put your cell phone to be able to actually register the system and have it be treated as your device. Uh, you can uh, connect your webcam and everything into it as well and have it be a standalone device if you cho choose. Uh, this is the box that it comes in, so we're going to do that unboxing today. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll notice is this larger box actually is not the size of the desk hub. The desk hub is a relatively small device. I can go ahead and show it to you on the side here. The first right on top of it is the instructions on how to connect it. Very simple, very easy to follow. If you look at these, it pretty much is just pictures, shows you where everything connects into. The hub itself is on the left hand side here. And it comes with a little bit of foam between it to keep it secure. Uh, but then we have the hub itself, this kind of pivots to be able to stand up to the angle that you want it to be. And then this is the side that your cell phone would go on. But it's got a little bit of uh, plastic on the bottom, so we'll just go ahead and peel that off. And a little bit of uh, plastic on the underside where it holds your phone, so we're going to go ahead and peel that off as well. Okay. And then there's a piece of plastic that wraps around the outside of the device, so we can go ahead and pull on that tab there and just pull that off. That's all your air vents around the outside, so you want to make sure that those are not being covered. And then just one last one over top of the wireless charger. Pull that one off. And now that is unwrapped. Put that to the side. We also have a little sheet with some regulatory compliances on there. And then on the right hand side of the box here, we actually have some additional cables first off. So we have an Ethernet cable that we can connect everything to. We have the USB-C to HDMI cable. We also have a USB-C to USB-C cable. And then a power cable. So let's go ahead and pull the cut power cable out of the bag here. Zip tie, or not zip tie, but yeah, remove the twist tie. Now, on the back of the unit itself, you'll actually notice on the far right hand side here is a power connector. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in there. And then on the other part of this cardboard here is the AC cable itself. So now looking at the unit turn it around here while it's booting up there. You can see that we have our power button right there. And then on the back side of the unit, you've got your Ethernet pass through. We have our USB-C connection for the computer. We also have the USB-C connection for the monitor. Again, it comes with a cable for the HDMI to USB-C. And then uh, we also have the peripheral USB-C as well. So if you wanted to use this for connecting the webcam and that kind of thing to this hub as well, you can. And then we have our Kensington lock connection there. And then our standard USB-A type. Uh, this little door here on the top is actually removable. So if I pull this off, you have this little connector here. This is for an additional accessory, which I actually have. So you can order this separately.
It looks just like this, and it's a little dock for your headphones. So if you have the 730 headphones, you can just go ahead and slide that right into that port. And then the headphones itself actually will go ahead and just sit right on there. So now it has all the devices right there at your fingertips. You can go ahead and grab them when you need them. But let me go ahead and get the rest of the stuff set up so you can see what it looks like when it's all plugged in and everything's plugged in together. Give me just one second. One other interesting thing you'll notice is the actual cables themselves are color coded. So like this one has a little blue line on it. So that way you know exactly which spot on the back of the unit it's supposed to plug into because that's also color coded. So it makes it very nice and easy to use. I have the Cisco webcam here, so I'm going to connect that as well. Okay, so now that we're all set, we just have to make sure that we actually connect this into our control hub to be able to get all the settings, all the administration rights, everything that I need to assign this to our organization is done. Uh, so as you can see here, I have the standard welcome screen that you find on most Cisco devices. And we can just change the language here if we wanted to. Uh, we can also hit start. And then the first thing it's going to ask for is the wireless information. If you connect it via Ethernet, you don't have to worry about this. But let's go ahead and connect it into our Wi-Fi. If you wanted to, you could change to hardware. You can also go into advanced network settings here. Let's go ahead and click next. And it's going to ask us to choose a call service. So this would be for standard on-prem or expressway, and this one would be for your cloud service. So let's go ahead and cloud register it. It's going to ask us for a 16-digit code. So let me go ahead and pull that up real quick and punch that in. If you need help on how to generate these activation codes, you can do those under your own account on WebEx via settings.webex.com. Or if you're an admin for an organization, you can create this as a workspace so that way it can be shared between multiple people which is how I've done this, and uh, then you just generate the code from the admin, and the admin can then uh, log those in to the device, and then just hit the next button there, or the arrow. It's going to activate to the WebEx account. There it goes. And you can see there, so we have our time zone automatically selected, and I can change the time zone if I wanted to or I can just continue past that stage. And then at this point, it's wanting me to adjust the camera. Once you've adjusted the camera the way you need it, you can go ahead and start using this device just like you would any other WebEx Desk device, either the Desk Pro, the Desk, or the Desk Mini, and now the Desk Hub. They all work the same way as far as the interface goes. So you can share content into your call, you can get your calls. You can even, if you wanted to with this device, place your phone on it and then register that device to you if you have it as a shared device or even something along the lines of a RFID card could also be used to assign the device to you in a shared environment. Thank you for joining us on another Cisco Unboxed. Enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully we'll see you again soon.